So the Genesis Black has four stereo reverb returns, which are controlled by these rotary encoders at the top of the A-Track section. And they can be sent to your cue mixes, either one or two or a combination of both, uh, to left or right speakers or to your main mix. And you've got the narrow, wide function at the top, which I find works really well on vocal re uh, reverbs. You can really spread the image out and add, add a bit more depth to it. Yeah, and it can also help with masking issues. Like if, you, if you've got something panned hard left and it's being covered by another signal, you can use the stereo width to extend the reverb tail of that instrument to, to bring it out of the mix. So moving on, we've got the reverb controls like on, mono, after fade, listen. And then also the ISO switch, which isolates the reverb from the solo path. So I can isolate, uh, I can solo a vocal track, for example, and leave the reverb still on. And even further down, we've got the IMR switch, which is essentially a wet dry blend for any mix bus external processing. Yeah, so this feature enables parallel processing, such as using a Neve 33609 compressor on your main mix bus. You can then blend the process signal in with your master channel. 